I'm Sean Ward, and we're the owners of Shane and Sean Shoes. The person that we're designing for, we call them the boardroom rock star, and we make them a rock star by creating comfortable shoes. We build something inherently in all of our shoes that I know and my brother know that other designers did just don't do. We have what we call the luxury liner. It's made up of EVA foam on the bottom layer. Um, on top of that, we have a memory foam, and then we put this metallic leather on top. On the bottom, we injected these rubber pods to give you extra traction and comfort. Although we're twins, um, identical twins at that. Some of the characteristics that Shane has um, that I don't have, Shane is very in the moment, you know, and very instinctive. And I think that's a part of his artistic side. Sean is very aggressive when it comes to like business. If you sign a contract saying that, okay, you want. He's just, he's just, um, just a lot more analytical than I am. And I think that's what makes him a successful businessman. We grew up in Detroit. We're a very close-knit family. There's seven of us. You know, we had humble beginnings. We didn't have a whole lot of money. Our mother is, you know, such a big part of our life. Success to us is being able to take care of her. Coming out of high school, I decided to go into engineering, where Shane decided to go to the art school. I moved to New York, and I was designing, and he was um, trading on the stock market. You know, he started to like help me out because I was working so much and the stock market closed at four. And then we started to work a little bit together with the freelance work. And then that is just kind of like slowly morphed into it. We used to design for Fila, Puma, Converse, Lugs, Roll Elastic, where we basically got our PhDs in designing shoes, mostly athletic shoes. And then we started Detney, which is a combination of Detroit, New York, where we're from, where we started the company and then the Shane and Sean collection, which is our more upscale collection. Our first season, we were in probably eight retailers, uh, mostly in New York and Detroit. And we've gone from those eight retailers and now we sell to some great department stores. And we have our flagship store here in New York. It's always been our dream to have our own store. And we said when we make it, we want to make it feel like the ultimate bachelor pad that women love to hang out in. We do a wide variety of different constructions and styles. Probably the five hottest styles that are in footwear right now. You know, the first thing I think of is ballerina flats for the ladies. But we always like to add a little rock and roll edge to it. You can't ever not have a collection without a four inch pump. You wanna talk about some men's shoes, of course. We have different constructions, we have our slip-ons, we have lace-ups, which you know you can wear. You work in an office environment. You wear a suit; it's very applicable for that. And some jeans, some really cool, funky, like strap versions of shoes. Like this one here is like really hot. One shoe right here, but it's our favorite shoe. On the back wall, we basically have a big mural of the photo shoot that we did. But this was a full-out production. We, we ended up getting really, really involved. And at the same time, we had some fun. And we got some incredibly amazing, sexy photographs out of the, the photo shoot. Now we're at a point where the momentum is growing, we're getting a lot of press. This one here is uh, an example of one of our more recent press hits in men's fitness. Um, this was one of the biggest hits we've ever had. We were mentioned um, in the power player section of the Hottest Bachelors. Pretty cool because we're in there with the guys from YouTube, the Maloof brothers who you know, own the NBA franchise and the Palms. I mean, these are things that Sean and I always thought would be incredible, and they're happening to us now. Black Enterprise mentioned us in the top 40, under 40, and we were in there, people like Tiger Woods and LeBron James and, you know, Chris Brown, Jay-Z, Puff Daddy. It's incredible for us to be mentioned in the same breath as people like that. Next five years will definitely be a full-fledged lifestyle brand. Uh, we're gonna We'll have handbags, 
accessories, clothing, jewelry. We've definitely come a long, long way. And this is what we, this is what we work for. This is why we come to work every day and we grind away. And even we go home and we take a bath, we're thinking about our jobs. And that's what makes you know, really successful entrepreneurs really successful is the undying belief that you will be successful and you never give up. And so it's never been an option. Even at the craziest of times, it's always about the next accomplishment and getting out of it. They're just hurdles that you have to get over to get to the finish line.